What's up guys? For those of you that know me, um, you know what this video is all about. This is my first makeup video, or rather my return to making makeup videos. Um, I'm super excited for you guys all to watch this. Um, for those of you that don't me, hi, don't know me, hi, my name is Cass. Um, I'm a freelance makeup artist here in Vancouver, Canada, and I'm going to be starting to uh, make YouTube videos and makeup tutorials and whatnot for you guys. Um, so if you want to keep watching and um, stay tuned to learn how to do this look here, it's all um, pretty much all using uh, Makeup Geek shadows. There are a couple of Too Faced Chocolate Bar shadows in there as well. Um, but basically it's all going to be using Makeup Geek shadows. Um, and then if you go to my blog post, which I will have linked below, you can read a review on the eyeshadows and what I thought of them. And yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to prime my eyelids using the um, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm just using that on a concealer brush. And I'm just going to paint that all over my lid. Um, you can use your fingers too, I just choose to use a brush because my nails are a little bit long and I don't want to like poke myself in the eye. But I'm going to use a brush. Um, so I'm not using a whole ton because then it's going to kind of do the opposite effect that we want it to do. Um, <clears throat> if I'm using too much primer, it's just going to cause creasing, which is kind of what we don't want it to do. You know what I mean? So yeah, once that's on there, um, then I'm just going to take a um, regular shadow flat shading brush. Um, um, so yeah, I'm just going to put like a plain sort of vanilla shade. It's not um, not a Makeup Geek shadow just because I didn't, I already have so many like vanilla kind of shade colors. I just decided not to use a, um, or not to buy um, one of those colors from Makeup Geek. So this is the like vanilla shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I think it's actually called, no, it's called white chocolate, not vanilla. So once that sort of neutral color shade is all over my lid, I'm going to take um, Peach Smoothie from Makeup Peak. Obviously, because that's the shadows I'm using. Um, and on a Bledium Tools, I think that's how you say it, Bledium, Bledium, I don't know. I'm going to list everything in the down bar below for you guys. Um, it's a number 785 brush. I'm just going to start sweeping that into the crease. Just to kind of warm up the crease and make the transition shade a little bit nicer. I really need to tweeze my eyebrows. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's much on there right now, but whatever. Just do it. Uh, so then uh, on a Real Techniques Deluxe Creep, Deluxe, blah, 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 Deluxe Crease Brush. Sorry, that's not really focusing. A Deluxe Crease Brush. Um, it's just like a really fat, dense sort of blending brush. I'm gonna pick up some more peach smoothie and some creme brulee, yeah, creme brulee. Uh, and just tap off the excess there. And then I'm gonna start sweeping that into the crease too, but I'm gonna be a little bit more precise about where I'm putting it. I'm not gonna be like sweeping all over like it was with peach smoothie. I'm just gonna be kind of focusing on the outer two thirds-ish of my eye, but I'm still seeing in that like crease area, if you know what I mean. Um, so because this brush is a little bit more dense, it's still like round and fluffy like the other one, but it's a bit more dense, so it's going to apply, uh, the color a little bit more intensely. So yeah, this is warming the eye area up a bit there. Okay, next I'm going to take um, another no-name brush. Uh, it is also from Blonde from Donald. It is my small chiseler brush. 
it looks like right like that um, it's just a little bit more um, of a precise brush it's still pretty loose and fluffy loose and fluffy yeah I guess so um, so with that one I'm picking up the shade cocoa bear um, and I'm just literally just tapping it I'm just tapping it into the um, shadow because I don't want too too much on uh, and then just notice how I'm placing my brush if you can see that how I'm placing it upside down I'm not making a cut crease um, but the reason I'm placing my brush like this is because if I place it like this it's gonna have all the blending it's gonna f like diffuse downwards if I place it up like this it's gonna diffuse upwards which is what I want for this look um, so it's gonna have a sharper edge on the bottom so that is what I'm doing I'm actually going to make a little angle, like a little wing almost, like a V-shape. And then I'm going to go in. Kind of just loosely sort of creating. A V. It's so much easier to do the other eye. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's sloppy and it looks not very nice. But that's okay because we're going to take our big fat um, deluxe crease brush again and I'm just going to, I'm not blending underneath. I'm blending on the top because I want it to blend up. I think what I'm actually going to do is clean off that brush. I'm going to take the Real Techniques accent brush, this little teeny weeny guy, um, and I'm just going to kind of go over that little shape, that little V shape again. This guy's even more precise. Um, so I'm picking up Cocoa Bear and then I'm starting to pick up a little bit of Bitten too, which is the burgundy shade that I have. And again, um, I'll list everything in the down bar below. And also I'm gonna have swatches and more like a detailed description of all the shadows on my blog as well. And I'm going to just start to drag that little line almost inwards a bit, like that, so you can kind of see. I can't blink this eye. There we go. Then close it so you can see it. You know. You know what I mean. I can only wink with one eye. I'm talentless. Um, again, and then just kind of going over that line again and blending that. Just fell. Stick. Reap stick. So, yeah, that's kind of how it's looking right now. Um, so next, I'm going to go back with the small chisel brush again. Um, and I'm just going to pick up some more Cocoa Bear. And then I'm just going to kind of go over that and blend it out a bit more. I am going to actually have decided, yes, I am going to bring this in a little bit into the inner corner. I'm going to leave the majority of the lid clean because I think that's what I did on the other eye. basically just like blending and blending and blending that's really all I'm doing and then like occasionally picking up some more shadow and then blending some more just going in with a bit more um, creme brulee
blending that bish out. Picking up a bit more of the bitten shade. I kind of went up a bit too high, so I'm going to just bring it in a little bit lower. If that line that I want isn't nice and clean after underneath, what I can always do is just take a concealer brush, um, like a brush I used to put on my primer with, and then just kind of clean up the edge after. So I think that's what I'm going to do, because this line's just going up a little bit too high for my liking. So I'm kind of just bringing that in a bit more there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just take my concealer brush and just sort of make sure I don't have any like fall out there. Okay, so once I have the crease basically all like pretty much blended out, like that's as much as I'm going to do with it for now. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to take a MAC, another brush that is forever old and doesn't have a number on it. It looks like this, if anyone, it's, and it's blue because I already did the other eye, but um, it's like a, I'm pretty sure it's white goat hair and it has like the old... Um, labeling on it but it's like completely worn off so I anyway, know if anyone knows the number of this let me know but I don't even know what number it is it's that old and I don't even know if they make it anymore I don't think they do but anyways besides the point um, the next part of this is I'm going to take um, mermaid which is this really really pretty blue color um, kind of similar to max aquadisiac um, so I'm gonna pick a bit of that up and I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner. And I'm just gonna kind of almost like curve upwards with it and then curve inwards. So I'm just kind of like putting it right in the inner tear duct. And then I'm also gonna pick up a little bit of Shimma Shimma, which is also on the same brush because I want it to have like a highlighted effect. I got sort of a highlighty. I want it to sort of have like a highlight thing, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of drag that in towards the lower lash line there. All the way along the lower lash line. And I'm just really pressing it on because I want it to have a really nice, um, intense sort of highlight, like how this one is. And then uh, originally when I did this look um, and I posted some photos of it on Instagram, um, I used Max Nylon as well, which looks like this. Um, it's kind of similar to Shimma Shimma, but Shimma Shimma has a, a pink undertone to it where Nylon has more of a, like a yellow undertone. Um, so I'm gonna pick a little bit of that up as well just because I really like the way that that reflects light. And I'm just gonna pop that right in here. I'm actually not gonna take it under the eye. I'm just gonna put it right in the inner tear duct with the mermaid. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more mermaid as well. Pop that there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my little concealer brush, fix that up a bit. Okay, next I'm going to go back to this, 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 I'm going back to this, um, accent brush from Real Techniques and I just wiped it off because I've been using it for two different colors and I don't want it to get muddy so I just wiped it off and I'm picking up that um, mermaid shade because um, I just want it really intense under that lash line there.
And then on my little pencil brush from Sigma, I just love all my brushes being just destroyed. Um, I don't even know what number this is. This is really unfortunate. I don't know the numbers of almost any of my brushes. Um, it's the Sigma pencil brush. The Sigma pencil brush. Come on. There we go. Sigma pencil brush. Um, I am picking up, I think it's called Unexpected. Unexpected, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to kind of blend out the bottom part of the mermaid underneath my lower lash line, but I just want to diffuse it out with a little bit of a more subtle color. So that's what I'm doing with the shadow here. Just so that it's not like blue and then skin. I kind of want it to have a little bit of transition. And then I'm just going to go back again. The mermaid. If you have really, um, and I probably could have done this too because I, I do have really like oily bottom eye skin. I don't know if that's fucking gross. Um, anyways, if you tend to like put shadow underneath your eyes and it just like comes off like two minutes later because that does happen to a lot of people. It happens to me all the time. Um, you could take um, an eyeliner, like a white eyeliner, like NYX's um, Jumbo Eyeliner in Milk, uh, which I often do and just didn't do today, so this is probably going to come off in like five minutes. Um, but you could just sort of line um, your lower lash line with that first as a base, and then putting these over top would not only like make the colors really intense, but it would also make them last a hell of a lot longer. And then you wouldn't have to worry about it coming off five minutes later. Uh, I'm just going in with a bit more mermaid. Popping it right under. And it's getting in my eyeball now. Where is a Q-tip when you need one? Okay, whatever. Blue eyeshadow in my eye. Don't care. Okay, let's just see how this is looking. Okay, cool. So that part's done. Now, pretty much the, not the last, not the last step of this eye look, but almost the last step. Um, I'm gonna take my, so, oh, I do have a number for this one. My Sonia Kashuk, number 116. It is a crease brush. Um, so I don't know why I'm using it to do this, but I'm gonna. I'm just um, spraying it with a little bit of um, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, just the tiniest bit to kind of dampen it. Um, and then I'm using not a makeup leaf shadow, I apologize. But I'm gonna go back to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I'm picking up a bit of the shade Marzipan and Creme Brulee. I'm kind of mixing them together. Um, and I'm just gonna tap that all over the center part of the lid where we left it clean originally too on the um instagram photo of this look that i did originally i left this center part of the lid clean um but when i was doing it again today i thought mm, no that's boring and i wanted to put a middle color in and then i figured this looked good even though it's not makeup geek i apologize so, yeah, and then, and then, it just got a little carried away, so I'm just going to kind of go and fix up, kind of re-intensify that crease again. Yeah, and that's pretty much it yeah so um i'm just gonna do line how rude i'm just gonna do line um my lash line with kat von d's tattoo liner in mad max brown um i'm not doing a wing or anything crazy i'm just 
lining lash line because I'm going to be putting on lashes and I want it to look, you know, not like I don't have any liner on. So I'm just doing a little bit of liner, um, mascara, top and bottom, and lashes. And then, yeah, you will see the finished look in a sec. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you are watching this on Facebook or any form, other form of social media, make sure to actually go to YouTube so that you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, what is she talking about? I don't understand. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, um, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the video, if you want me to make more, if you want me to do anything differently. Um, this is kind of the first video I've done that's sort of a return to starting to make makeup videos. So if you guys have any input, I would love to hear it. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.